Hi, Jason Solomon here. Wanted to share a little bit about grit and developing grit in our journey of improvement. So, simple chart here. This represents time, the longer that we work on something or practice something. And this represents how it's going. Maybe it's not going so well, and then things are going better. When we practice, we tend to have an expectation of improvement. And sometimes we think of this, maybe falsely, in more of a linear fashion. The longer that you practice something, the better that you should be at it. If you've been doing something for a long time, you think, I should be pretty good at this by now. But in reality, that's not what happens. Our actual journey looks more like this. We have these periods of what appear to be not a lot of development, not a lot of noticeable change in what we're doing, and then all of a sudden we have these breakthrough moments, these metamorphosis moments where we kind of you know, shift up like a whole plateau worth of you know, improvement all at once. Things just lock in magically, and it's a really great and exciting time. But what that means is that there is a gap, a fluctuating gap between where we think we should be on something and where we actually are on something. The gap fluctuates. When we first start out on something, there's not much of a gap, but the longer that we invest time and energy in trying to come up with a solution to that or improve on that, the gap starts to widen on us. And the gap usually reaches its greatest point right before there's that major breakthrough that happens because when that major breakthrough happens all of a sudden our level of play shoots up and so it's much closer to our expectation of where we should be it's a very gratifying feeling right grit is the ability to increase the distance or deal with the gap here 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 that's grit Sometimes that gap gets pretty big because we go down this road, we haven't had much improvement, we've been doing it for a while, we've been trying a bunch of things, nothing seems to be working, and it gets really frustrating. This is often the time where people quit or self-select out of the industry or decide to do something else, or they just lose motivation because this is not fun. This is not the fun part of the journey. The fun part's here and here when we have those breakthroughs and then we're pretty close to our expectation but then then we start to hear things maybe we hear another player we take a lesson we become aware of all these things that oh we're actually not doing we need to go after those things so the development of grit is the ability to increase our tolerance either with the amount of distance between where we think we should be and where we actually are or just be able to sustain motivation through those kind of dark periods in our development. There's two things you need to play really well. Grit and creativity. That's it. Grit is the ability to deal with the frustrating points where they, there's a gap between where we think we should be and where we actually are. And, and sustaining motivation through even those most maximal points between those two. Creativity is the ability to take information either from our own thoughts or from teachers or from sources on the internet and combine those into some composite new way to try things to come up with solutions to make those breakthroughs and have that improvement in our playing. You can have creativity or you can be open to information from others and then they can kind of have the creativity for you. But at some point you need a basic level of creativity and a basic level of grit to have this kind of balance between these moments where things aren't necessarily improving to where they are and how that feels in terms of where we think we should be. The more grit that you have, the more you can sustain your motivation through these tough patches. And it's important to know that by that, just the way it's set up, the greatest distance, the greatest difference between where we think we should be and where we actually are is gonna be those moments right before the breakthrough. So sometimes when you think you're getting worse, when you think it's going worse, it actually means the breakthrough is right around the corner. So when you hit those moments, if you can kind of reverse psychology the feel and say, oh, I'm really frustrated with how this is going and I'm not improving, that means that right around the bend is going to be that breakthrough. I just need to be creative and I just need to keep my grit. Now go practice.